Well, that first attempt was terrible. All right. Uh, <laughs> this might take a minute. What's going on, everyone? In this video, if you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be doing some home self-portrait photography. Now, self-portrait photography is something that I've personally never really done before. I've done it a couple times, but I've never really sat down and done a full photo shoot of just self-portraits. So, because I have some time on my hands, I thought, why not? I don't really know the exact type of portraits that I want to do, but I have some props that I'm going to use, and we're going to see how this all turns out. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to review some of my favorite shots that I took. So, hopefully I have some good ones in there by the end of the video. If you can't see, I have another camera set up right here with the Canon 50mm RF lens. And that is the lens that I'm going to be using for all of my portraits today. So to start off, the first thing I'm going to do is take some simple self-portraits, no props or anything like that, just to help me get into the rhythm of things. And since I have another Canon app, I'm going to be using the Camera Connect apps just so I can use the camera hands-free and that'll help me get the focus so I don't have to be going back and forth between the camera and trying to get in the right position and everything. I can do everything I need from my phone. So, on that note, let's get into it. So for these next shots, I have this kind of film strip thing. Um, I don't know how I'm going to use it, but hopefully we can get kind of creative with it and let's see how they turn out. For these next shots, I got a deck of cards right here. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I feel like you can always get something pretty creative when you're making some sort of portrait with a deck of cards. So, let's see what we can create. Okay, so for the next shot, I have jelly beans. I guess I have an idea of what I want to do with them, but I'm not sure if it's really going to work out. It could get a little messy, so this is going to be interesting. As you can see, I had to change my shirt real quick, only because I wanted to try and match the colorfulness, all the colors that the jelly beans are gonna bring to the shot. So I wanted to try and just match that the best I could. And put jelly beans in this little Tupperware container. We're gonna toss them up and see what kind of shots we can get out of it. So hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess, but we already know it is, so let's see how they turn out. Well, that first attempt was terrible. All right. Uh, <laughs> this might take a minute. All right, well, shooting jelly beans is a lot harder than I thought it would be, but we're gonna see how they turned out. So the next shot I'm gonna work on is one with just these glasses. I'm already, I already got a colorful shirt on, so might as well. Try it with some glasses. Well, let's see how those work. All right, so as you can see, I changed again. I am gonna try to duplicate a shot that I have on my Instagram. I will put it right here. Ooh. Right here, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna try and replicate that photo again, but the hard part is I don't exactly remember how I did it, but I have an idea, so let's try it. Let's try some shots. All right, so I feel like I took enough photos. Let's uh, get into editing and see how they look. All right, so got all the photos edited. You already saw some of the photos that I took, but I'm gonna show you my favorites that I took during that photo session. And moving on to this first photo right here. Nice and simple, nothing complicated about it. Uh, that's how I wanted to start off the photo shoot, so I wanted to keep things simple. It kind of reminds me of being a senior in high school again. All you needed to do was put a cap and gown on me, and you got a graduation photo right there. But yeah, yeah I liked it. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. 
For this next one, I had the film strip as the prop, and I think it turned out pretty well. I wasn't really sure exactly what I was gonna do with this, so I was just messing around, doing a lot of hand gestures, trying to wrap it around in other areas, and, and just to see how it turned out. So with this one, I think it showed off the film strip the best compared to the other photos, and it wasn't overly goofy like the ones you saw a little earlier in the video. Now with this next one, I still had the film strip as the prop, but you can't really see it in the photo. I just wanted to get a little hand movement forward just so I can add a little bit of depth in the photo just because having depth never hurts any photo even when it comes to portrait photography. Then I started moving on to the deck of cards and again really wasn't sure what I was going to do with this but I think some of these turned out pretty well. Now with this photo right here I couldn't have a deck of cards as a prop and not fan out all the cards and try to be a little mysterious with it. I wanted to try and look like a magician. If I had a few more props with me, I know the magician vibe would have came across, but that's not really how it worked. Eh, I'm still, I'm still pretty happy with how this photo turned out. Now with this next one, not the best portrait itself, but I liked it just because it captured something in motion. I was tossing a card up in the air. I wanted to try and capture it a little more to the side of my face, but the timing never worked out. Either the card was way too high, way too low, or it was like this and it just covered my entire face. I still like the photo, even though it's not the best portrait, but that's how photography works out sometimes. You don't always get the exact shot that you're looking for. Now is when we start to really get into the fun shots. In this next one, this is when I started messing with the jelly beans. Really the whole goal was to try and toss it up and just capture them over my face. As you can see, this isn't really the look I was going for. This was honestly the best shot I could get. After numerous and numerous attempts and picking up all the jelly beans, I decided just to move on from there because it was, it was just a process trying to get the exact photo that I wanted and I didn't have that much time on my hands. So yeah, best shot I could get with the jelly beans. Don't know what the hell I'm doing with my face right there. It's like I'm scared of them, but uh, that, that's a completely different topic. Still, I think this brought out a bit more fun to the photo shoot, and even though I didn't get the exact shot that I wanted, I still think this made for a good time. Now these next photos that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put them side by side. I already had a colorful shirt on, and I had these glasses that I thought matched them pretty well. So I put them on, and as you can tell, I was having a pretty good time with the shots. And when I looked at these photos in the editing process, they gave me a real old school teacher yearbook photo type vibe. So that was my reasoning behind editing them the way I did. I think it looks like a much older picture based on the style that I edited them in. So yeah, these might be my favorite photos. They show off a bit of goofiness and I really like the edits to these as well. So for this last shot, I was trying to replicate a shot that I had already taken for my Instagram. And I knew that it wasn't gonna be easy because I couldn't exactly remember how I got the shot to begin with. So yeah, the, this was my attempt at it. Obviously I did a little bit of a different edit. I didn't go as extreme with the edit, I don't think. And I think making my eyes this color kind of brings out a, a creepy vibe to the photo that I was really going for. All right, so that's it. That's, that's the end of the video. That's all I got for you. Hopefully you liked it, and if you did, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you hit that subscribe button, be sure to hit that bell as well so you can get notifications on whenever I put out a video. Something else I would love for you to do, I would love for you to leave a comment below telling me which one of these portraits was your favorite. Hopefully you don't say the jelly bean one because that one was obviously the most embarrassing, but I had to show you guys something from that section of the photo shoot. But on that note, as always, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, why am I putting this jelly bean picture in this? Oh, it's so embarrassing.